Hey guys, it's Sabrina. Um, today I'm actually here to do a different kind of video. Um, I've had a few people request to see what is on my nook, and I've talked about my nook in quite a few of my videos. So some people were curious, and I wanted to do this just to give you guys a quick um, glance at my bookshelves on my nook. So I have the Nook color, and my husband actually got this for me when we were still dating. It was for one of our anniversaries. Um, I got it June of 2011, I think. I think. I want to say June of 2011. Could be wrong. It could have been 2010. I don't remember. But it was one of those. So I have this nice leather case um, on here. Um, and it has a quote from Oscar Wilde that says, I have the simplest of tastes. I am always satisfied with the best. And my husband just got this case for me um, for Christmas. I don't really know if you guys can see that. Let me turn up the... No, you probably can't. But anyway, that's what it says. It's written right here if you can see just the indentation. Um, and then you open it up and it's got like these two pockets right here. And then my nook sits right there and you can see me hello everybody okay so um, I'm gonna turn it on I love that noise by the way and this is my home screen um, let me just get to you can kind of see it a little bit better on this page it's just some flowers so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna read off the books that I have and then I'm just gonna show them to you on the screen so, um, the first page that I have is books that I've read previously, um, and they actually go in, like, alphabetical order, so it's kind of hard for me, but, um, I have the Tyrell trilogy from Amanda Hawking. I don't remember what order it's in, but I have Ascend, Torn, and Swift? What's this one say? I don't really know what it says. Switched. Switched is first. I remember it now. So it's torn to send is what I think that it is. Um, and I got these before it became like, really popular. I got it like the first year that I got, had my nook and they were like $2.99 each or something. Um, and I enjoyed it. So much so that I got her My Blood Approves series, um, which consists of four books. I read all four of them and there should be a fifth book, but she hasn't written it yet. Next I have The Hunger Games trilogy on here, which is Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mockingjay. Um, and then I have Water for Elephants, which is the first book that I bought on here and absolutely adored. Um, highly, highly recommend Water for Elephants. Um, then I have the Lorian Legacies. I have Item Number 4, The Rise of Nine, and Power of Six. I'm not sure what order those go in. Um, I personally didn't read those. My husband did. Um, I own them in paperback copies, but he read them on my Nook um, when he was in the military because he downloaded the Nook app and then read it off of his iPhone and, or laptop or something. And So, yeah, I bought those for him. And then I have um, the next page is my George R. R. Martin books. I have Game of Thrones, Clash of Kings, A Storm of Swords, and those are the ones that I've read so far. I'm in the middle of the fourth one. Um, I stopped reading it last year when I was in school because school just got too much and those books are over 800 pages so it was hard to read. I also have queued down at the bottom a book that I just bought which is right over here um, and it's called Level 2 which I've heard some pretty good things about so I got that and then I have Fifty Shades of Grey which I got through I'm trying to show you how many pages 344 of 391. So I got through most of it, but I just, there was more books that I wanted to read that I was more interested in, and this is when I picked up my second job, so I wasn't able to finish it. Um, and I, it was just okay for me. It wasn't like amazing like everyone thinks it is. But there's the first page of books that I've read, and then there's the second page with the George R. R. Martin books. Then, if we hit the home button and go to my library, it will show you all the books that I actually have in there. So I read them off. I have Level 2. I have Unearthly by Cynthia Hand. I have Tortured by something O'Brien, if I click on it, by Kara M. O'Brien. I have no clue what that is. I haven't read it yet. It was probably on sale. 
And then, let's see what else. I apologize, guys. I have Untwined by Heather Dixon. I have Witch, Witch and Wizard by James Patterson, which I have not read. Um, again, I am number four. I have Blue Bloods by Melissa de la Cruz, which I have not read. The Unofficial Harry Potter Cookbook, which I have not read. Evermore by Allison Noel, I didn't read. Virtue by Amanda Hawking, I didn't read. The Warrior Air by Cinda Williams Chada or something like that. Miss Peregrine's School Home Home for Peculiar Children. I'm sorry, I'm trying to read these and they're so tiny. Then I have Dracula Little Women. Fifty Shades of Grey, Switch by Amanda Hawking, Rise of Nine by Pitticus Lore, A Feast for Crows, which is the one that I'm um, halfway in between by George R. R. Martin. Um, I think that's the one I'm on. I think that's number four. Um, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. Have not read that yet. A Storm of Swords, Power of Six. My Blood Proves by Amanda Hawking. Flutter by Amanda Hawking. A Clash of Kings by George R. R. Martin. Water for Elephants by Sandra Sarah Gruen. Um, another Amanda Hawking book, the Girl Who Played with, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo and The Girl Who Played with the Fire by Seek Larson, Torn and Wisdom by Amanda Hawking, Pretty Little Liars, the first book by Sarah Shepard, I haven't read that yet, Mocking Jay and Hunger Games by Susan Collins, Ascend by Amanda Hawking, The White Queen by Phil Bill Gregory, Glimmer Glass by Jenna Black, these are mostly ones that I haven't read. Um, Catching Fire, Susan Collins, I did read that. Uglies, Pretty, Specials and Extras by Scott Westerfeld, I also own the paperback edition of those. Demon Glass and Hex Hall by Rachel Hawking, Sugar Lingered Forever by Maggie Stiefvater. Hush Hush, Silence, Crescendo by Becca Fitzpatrick, Lilla and the Boy Next Door, and Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. A Dance with Dragons by George R. R. Martin, which is the fifth book, I have not yet yet read. Forbidden um, Inheritance by Christopher Piloni. I still haven't read that, but I do own that in um, paperback. Legend by Marie Lou, Cinder. By Marissa Meyer, Divergent by Veronica Roth, and Wither by Lorna Stefano. I all own those in hard copy as well, and I've read Cinder and Divergent. I have Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. I have A Great and Terrible Beauty, Rebel Angels, and The Sweet Far Thing by Libba Bray. The Iron King, Iron Queen, Iron Daughter, Iron Knight. Also, I own those in paperback. I have yet to read those. Um, the White Queen, the Red, the Red Queen, and the Lady of the Rivers by Philippa Gregory. And the Leviathan Trilogy by Scott Westerfeld. So yeah, those are the books that I have on my nook. Nothing too special, but they're books that I enjoy. And um, I really do enjoy reading on an e-reader. Um, I do think that it's a lot of fun, especially because if I don't know a word, I can just highlight it and the word will come up, the definition, um, synonyms, stuff like that. Um, and I just, I really, en I do enjoy reading on this, especially if I'm traveling, I will bring this versus a whole pile of books just because it's so much easier. Um... And I actually find that I read faster when I'm on my Nook. I, I don't know why. Um, I also tackled all the, G the George R. R. Martin books that I have. And they're over 800 pages each. And it really didn't seem that bad reading it on a Nook. So, um, I haven't owned a Kindle. But my um, husband's little brother does own a Kindle Fire. And his is broken like three or four times. I don't know if it's just him or if it's just the quality. Um... And he also doesn't have internet access on his, it doesn't have like the built-in Wi-Fi or anything. So I really enjoy this because I have Wi-Fi and I can go on the internet. Um, I'm going to pull it up, but I don't know if you guys can see it. There's a bottom bar down here. I think it's going to be too bright. You can kind of see it. Let me turn down my, there you go. You can kind of, kind of see them. There is... Um, the library, which has all of your books in it and magazines, just went away. There is, next to that, um, shopping, so you can buy new books out of the, um, Nook store. Then there's a magnifying glass for search. Then there is apps, which I do have a few apps. I have 
um, Angry Birds and Horoscope app. Um, and then the internet and settings. I'll pull up my apps. I'm not really sure how many I have on here because I haven't used this lately. I have chess. I have Angry Birds. I have astrology. I have crossword puzzle. Fandango movies. I have a music player. I have solitaire, Pandora, Sudoku, um, a notepad and like a task pad. So yeah, those are all of my books and etc. on my Nook. I really enjoy my Nook. I really like reading on it. Um, I, I do still prefer having a physical copy of a book in my hand, but again, if I'm traveling, I will bring my Nook because it's so much easier. And when these first came out, a lot of the books were significantly cheaper than purchasing um, the book on its own, like in this bookstore, like the actual hard copy. But now I found that they're actually getting quite expensive, and most books are still $9.99, which is the same price as a standard paperback. So that's kind of disappointing, but all of the books that I have on, on here... Um, most of them I got when I first got my Nook, and most of them were less than $10. So, um, I mean, I got Game of Thrones for like $8, I think, um, which is really isn't that bad considering the hard copy price is over $20. So that is my review on my Nook, and I absolutely love these cases. These are also from Barnes & Noble. Um, they do have, like, other ones um, that are in different colors, but um, my husband did get me this cover for Christmas, and... One of my favorite colors, colors, excuse me, is purple. And he knew that I loved the color, the style, the quote, and I said that I wanted to get one that supported breast cancer. And if you can tell, there's the breast cancer ribbon right there. Um, they do have pink ones and stuff, but um, I haven't been affected by breast cancer. No one in my immediate family has, but um, a lot of my close friends from college um, and high school, their mothers were um, affected by breast cancer. So I just like to support that wherever I can. And if I can buy a really pretty cover that has a really cute quote on it that supports breast cancer and the proceeds go to the ribbon, then I'm more than okay with representing that. So this was my bookshelf tour for my Nook. And if you guys are interested, let me know if you'd like to see a bookshelf tour of my actual bookshelves because I would love to do one for you because those are my favorite book videos to watch on books. All right, guys, I will see you later. If you have any questions, comment down below. Bye, guys.